Hi, this is Pete with F Body Warehouse, and today what we're doing, we're working on a 1979 Trans Am. We're going to be doing a bunch of interior work on this today, but today what we're going to do real quick is we're going to show you how to change this nose crest emblem. This car is freshly painted, but the only problem was this nose crest emblem just looked like hell on it. So, we got a new reproduction OER unit, and we're going to show you how you can do this at home quickly and easily. The easiest way to access this nose crest is to remove the driver's side lower front grille. Now these were held down in place by the factory by Torx screws, but someone's replaced them and put them in Phillips head in this car. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go through and remove this. And you don't have a lot of these, you just have a few on the, on the top and the bottom. Now that we have the nose grill out of the way, you're able to actually literally reach your hand in. And if I'm going to show you my hand coming up this way so you can understand it. Your hand's going to reach in into this hole here and you're going to come up this way. And we can do that with a quarter inch ratchet and a deep well socket. And you're literally just going to reach up and in and you'll be able to put your hand right here. Right now, my hand is on the back side of the stud, on the underside of this nose cone. So I'm going to get my quarter inch ratchet and we're going to remove the, the lock washer. Now OER gives you two different options as far as nose crest on Now with my quarter inch ratchet, I'm going to reach in from the back side. I'm going to put my hand on the stud. Now as you loosen this, one thing to note is the emblem is going to want to wiggle. So if you've got a nice paint job on the car, you really want to be careful not to let it wiggle because then you won't chip up your paint. Now, as you can see, that was a 3 8 spin nut on the back side of it. We took our ratchet, we loosened it up, and now the whole nose crust emblem comes off in your hand. Now, as you can see, that was horrible. Now, these OER GM authorized reproductions come in two colors. You have your standard red, and this red unit came on most 77 to 81 Trans Am, Firebird, Esprit, and Formula models. You also have a gold, and the gold came on some of the black and gold special editions, and also on some Esprit models. Now in this case, our customer has requested that we install the gold one. That's what we're going to go ahead and do. One thing to note on the OER unit is that the stud is not threaded. So prior to going to install this onto the car, you're going to take either the OER spin nut that is provided by OER, or you're going to take your factory spin nut and your ratchet, and then you're going to thread it about five turns onto the unit. and then you're going to unscrew it and walk it back up. And as you can see, the spin nut threads the unit so that it's easy to screw on when it's onto the car. Now in order to reinstall it, all you do, take your crust, lay it into place, you're going to start your threading on the back side, and we'll take our ratchet, we'll tighten it back down. You don't need to use any glue or any epoxy. You're just going to go until it gets nice and snug. And you can tell when it's getting tight by just wiggling it a little. If it doesn't wiggle, it's tight as a drum. Make sure that it's straight. We have this one, it looks a little crooked, so we're going to loosen it just a notch. Now 
and then we'll tighten it back down holding the bottom tight. There we go. With our nose crest back on the car, all you have to do now is just put your nose grill back in place and your installation is complete. Alright, so now we have our nose grill back in place and we have our nose crest on the car. Install time on this takes in the ballpark of about five minutes. It's really easy to do. You can do it at the driveway at your house. And if you look at our old one, there's our old one. When you put it beside the old one, you can really tell the difference. I mean, when you do a paint job on a car, you really want to spruce up the trim too, and that's the little things that make a world of difference on the quality of a car.